Town Players Theater. This is episode two of our YouTube series, so come with us and check it out. Okay. This is the green room. Um, this is where the actors come up and get ready and change before the show. Um, the dressing rooms are over here, obviously, um, and then the the dressing table where we get our makeup and stuff is over here. <clears throat> uh, earlier, I would say back in the 80s, uh, there was a more heavy activity over here. People spotted a gal who used to uh, perform here. She's obviously passed away, but they would spot her here. Um, she would be doing what she did during her life uh, when she would perform here uh, back in the day when you could actually smoke in the building. Uh, she would be sitting here at the corner of the table and she would be smoking out in the window and people have actually smelled cigarette smoke and um, it hasn't happened recently but there have been sightings of her body being here just kind of doing her thing smoking a cigarette um, there have been voices up here um, there have been EVPs up here uh, we caught a little kid's voice once telling a man where to sit uh, he said he was going he told his wife I'm gonna sit here and over his voice you hear a little kid say no don't sit there sit here you know, so there's a bossy little kid up here as well. It was an EVP when he played back later. Um, we've heard footsteps up here. Um, smelled perfume. A woman's perfume is also something else that uh, we uh, we uh, perceive here. Here, it was the same group, and we were doing a preliminary sweep. And uh, I told the couple, I said, now before I open the door, I just want you to know there's a dead bird here. And then I opened the door, and um, and you could see that there was. You can't see it now, but you could see that there was a dead dove there. When they played the recording back later, they heard the word dove. But I never said dove. They didn't say dove. Um, this is the attic. A paranormal group come, and they set uh, their camera right here. And it was completely stable. And at one point during the night, it actually just fell over for no reason. It, but the force that it flipped over, it looked like somebody had just knocked it over. Wow. Yeah. So somebody knocked over a camera. I wouldn't go too much farther than that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So this is the attic. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Go ahead down, I'll be down. Okay. Oh, just <laughs> and here, this is the tech booth. Uh, we've heard, I've heard noises around the tech booth, nothing any in here. Um, once again, um, we've smelled ladies' perfume in here, uh, just kind of wafting through the cigarette smoke, wafting through here. <clears throat> I was uh, sitting in uh, this chair right here, and we were doing a show that involved a little kid, and I heard him take off running during the show through here. And you're not supposed to run during a show. So I came out through into the hallway here, and when I came around the corner, he wasn't there. And when I got to the corner here, I heard a little kid giggle right beneath me, and I turned to look, and there was no child there. So it happened right here. <clears throat> so I got out right here, and I heard a giggle right here, and I turned to look, and there was no child. So and he was already on stage. So when I first joined the theater company, my first, uh, the first story that I was told was about the men's bathroom. And one of the stories that you'll see um, that's pretty general on all the sites and the, and the books and stuff um, is the men's mirror. And they say that you can see a ghost in there. Right, we did read that. You did read that, yeah. So I've never, obviously I've never visited. Civil War soldier, Yeah, yeah. So downstairs in the basement, there was said to be a tombstone that had the name Charlie on it. And so when the library was downstairs on the first floor, they would call the ghost Charlie. Up here, they nicknamed him John. I don't know if it's a different entity or if it's the same one. Um, I personally had an experience couple, several years ago where I was standing in front of the stage here, and I was by myself, and I was waiting for someone to pick me up after a show. And I heard the toilet flush. 
I heard the door open, and I heard footsteps come down this hall here, but I never saw anybody, and I took off running. <laughs> okay, I went running down to the landing because I didn't want to see anybody at the time. So that was my experience with that. Um, people have heard footsteps in this area, the toilet flushing by himself, by itself. They, they call the ghost John Flushing, which is so classic. Okay. Librarians uh, would call him Charlie. He would throw books around. He would open doors, so they were, they were they could feel his presence and stuff, and they would just associate the name Charlie with him. So I don't know where the John, John name came with, but I don't know, other than somebody just made up a name for him. So um, <clears throat> We've seen lights fly around. We've heard voices down here. Um, actually, before you guys showed up, I was sitting over on the couch around the corner there waiting for you to come, and I kept hearing footsteps and movement and stuff, and I thought it was you guys, and it obviously wasn't. So they know you're coming. <laughs> I told them you were coming. So uh, a couple of years ago, my mom was uh, standing on the edge of the stage here. And she was waiting for me to come out this door. And she saw a white, a white form walk past her and go backstage. And she went to investigate, and nobody was there. Obviously, I came out from th through here. Um, we've, like I said, we've heard voices and clanging over there. Um, the heater system does clang a lot. Uh, in the winter, um, but it's a different entity. It's a different noise altogether. Uh, people have reported he seeing orbs. I don't give much validity to orbs, but for those of you who do, we have orbs. <laughs> this place is very dusty so and right. old. So um, I'll take you down to where the basement is, and, and that's as far as we can, uh, the door. So we'll go down that way. OK, so we can't, obviously, uh, we can't make go through here because um, we've got it locked up. But there's like a giant room over here and over here. Um, I had an investigative team in here uh, several years ago. And the head of the team was uh, antagonizing the ghost. He was uh, provoking. And he got shoved out of his chair. Um, he got back up, got in his chair, kept doing it. And he got his camera knocked out of his hand. Another uh, group caught an EVP of a really harsh male voice swearing at them. Um, he, I, I won't use the expletive. But he did swear at him um, harshly, and, and obviously they didn't hear it, it was EVP. But when they played it back later, they were actually quite concerned because they were feeling um, tense down here, but they weren't sure why. So there is a aggression down here. Not sure where it comes from, but it's definitely there's definitely something down here that doesn't really like to be poked at. <laughs> down here is where the library used to be. Um, the Soldiers Monumental Association has this front room now. And they've since altered this into a dance studio. I am not sure of anything recent that has happened. Um, we don't really communicate a lot with what happens down here. Um, but like I said before, this is where the library used to be. And librarians would report the doors opening and books being thrown around. And they would just feel a male presence. So that's it for down here. <laughs> My name's Ashley. I'm Shanda. And we're here to talk to you. You don't have to be afraid of us. We have a couple of things over here. The green light, you can make light up if you walk towards it. You can make it two different colors. And that orange light right there, you can talk into it and I'll be able to hear you. Can you come in here with us? This room has very thin walls, like I know you want to do. Overall windows too. Yeah. Yeah, they're tired. Can you move a chair or move one of the hats on the table for us? Do you mind us being here? Do 
you hear music? I hear music. No. Like a trumpet music, like. Like, and it stopped. Can you do that again? I just saw a shadow moving there. Something. Was I don't know if it could have been lighting or What's something. What's moving? I don't know. They're saying something. Yeah. Are you in here with us? If you walk towards the green light, if you touch that green light or speak into the orange light, we'll be able to know that you're in here with us for sure. The green light will change colors. That's how we'll know you're here. We can use that to ask you questions, communicate with you. Which is, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. It's all, that's all we want to do. We just want to communicate with you, talk with you. We promise we're not here to hurt you. We want you to trust us. I know you see a lot of people come and go through here. But we'll be here for a little while tonight. We know it takes a lot of energy to interact with us. There's lots of things with power in here. The recorder, the camera, ourselves. We have lots of energy. Feel free to use mine. Do you like being here? How long are we supposed to stay here? How long are we supposed to stay here? Yeah, I never see this kind of guy. No. I guess they'll walk yes and stir us and stuff. Yes. I said, do you want to move into the dressing rooms maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Right here. Oh, I, I, oh, I do. Now I do. I didn't. No. It was no, like no. gone. And I was back. Who's in here? That scared me. <laughs> that so we good. heard the stories of the lady putting on her makeup and having the cigarette smoke. But that doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. This smells different. Are you preparing the costumes? Yeah, I guess it could smell like an old school iron. That? Like a really old iron, how they mm -hmm. smell burning, that they're burning? Yeah, like as soon as I saw the base heater, I was like, oh, that's probably what it is. It's off. If there's somebody in here with us, can you let us know that you're here by doing something? Tapping the wall, moving a hanger? What was that? That was outside, I think, a door. Really? I think so. It sounded like it was in here. I heard it too. I think it's a bit off. I have to hear it again. Can you tap on the table? On the recorder? Do you like talking because it's outside? It's hard to tell sometimes because the way the tone is, it sounds so muffled. If there's somebody in here, can you knock on something? Can you make the smell come back? Because it's gone. If you were causing the smell, can you make us all smell it again? Can you come back in here? I smell over here. Over there. Are you standing by me? The smell keeps moving too. 
Yeah, I don't smell it over here. It's faint, but over here. Can you come into the middle of the room so we can smell that again? It'll just be kind of validation that you're in here with us. It's right over here. I swear, it's over here. You can stay over there. That's fine. What the hell? Was it just you moving? Because you moved uh, over there? Uh, no. I didn't touch that hanger. No, you didn't touch the thing, but I just don't know. I just got cold okay. chills. I'm going to walk over there, though, again, and just see and if it back. moves. That way, because you were like, oh, yeah, like that. Like, is it moving now? Because, like, up on the recorder. It didn't move at all uh -uh. when I was over there, and I was, like, stepping hard. If that was you, can you do that again? Can you touch the hanger? That was awesome. But it's really creepy because that's where the smell was. That even rattled, too, the other hangers. That one spun all the way around. Yeah. Yep. Can you spin it back the other way, please? And touch it? It was really cool. You can use our energy. I had goosebumps. Did you hear that creak? I heard some creaks. I do too. My whole body is chilled. I'm sorry we weren't watching. But was we that saw. on purpose? We, we saw that. <laughs> I'm going to sit back down. Okay. All right. Well, now we're going to switch. Somebody else is going to come up. You um, can follow us. Let's not... Do we want to say anything about the hanger, or do you want someone else come up here? I say we don't say anything about the hanger. Okay. And see if, if you guys could scare them with the hanger. Great. Right. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can move the hanger. I think somebody's coming up. Touch one of us, do anything you can to let us know you're here. There's a green light over there. If you wave your hand in front of it or walk towards it, it'll light up. We'll be able to know you're here. I've heard the people hear people talking up here. They smell perfume. Is that you walking around? Are you the one that causes those smells? Here's some cigarettes. Feel free to have one. Can you move something over here? What was that? Dog. If you're here, what is your name? Can you make this green light light up? Can you knock on something? So can you make a loud sound? 
move one of these hangers. Move any of the stuff in here. Do anything you can to let us know you're here. Again, you can wave your hand in front of this green light or walk towards it. It'll light up. It'll let us know that you're communicating with us. Can you move one of these items hanging up? Was this considered the woman's dressing area? Is that what this was? Mm -hmm. The men's is that the men's bathroom Ashley was talking about over there? Men's changing room is the next one over there. I guess they smelled like a, a foul smell or something over there. <laughs> Can you walk towards this green light and light it up for us? We'll be able to ask you yes or no questions with it. We know you're up here. We've heard the stories. People have seen you, people have smelled you. Order. You're going up, 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 up. Thank nice. you. Nice. High five. Got it. Um, have, are you a performer here? If you turn it back on, that means yes. If you leave it off, that means no. And that's how we can kind of talk. Um, are you a female? Again, if you are a female, turn it on. If you're not, leave it off. So then you are a male. No. Are you still in here with us? Can you turn the flashlight on if you're in here? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, great. Oh, well, that's wow, quick. you're awesome. Well, gee. Okay. Do you like Jimmy? Turn on for yes. Oh, kind of. Kind of like you, Jimmy. Kinda. It's <laughs> the she, half Jimmy. Like... You're, you're playing. <laughs> Do you, you like Ashley time. and I? Not really sure. Boo. Not really sure. Boo. Do you but wish Amy was up here? Hair was no? Okay. Yeah, no, you're all same. Can you turn it off, please? I'll ask another question. Almost. Can do it. You can use our energy. I like the clean on and off, so they're nice. I know. I'll ask you again, just to affirm. Do you like Jimmy? Turn on for yes. I don't know. I said like kind of, but I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want us to bring Amy back up here? Yeah? Amy, come on up. You're, you're being summoned. Okay, turn it back off for us. And Amy will come up here. You have to turn it off or she won't come up. I'm trying to hear. Good job. Okay, she'll come Amy. up then. Pull up a chair, buddy. Or it's just, yeah, it's good. So you can just, you got this. She's coming. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like we're in a talk show. Right. <laughs> I'm doing my work. I'm doing my work. Oh, we'll it feels a little weird though because it feels like there's a lot of people out there. I know. There's not a lot of people out there. <laughs> I know. So that's the weird uh, with part. The bright light. I just feel that there's a lot of people okay. out there. So. I know. All right. Are you glad Amy's up here and joined us? Turn on the flashlight for yes. I'm back. Amy's here. Ah. Can you turn that flashlight on for us? Thank you. I love the Go ahead and turn it back off, but do it quick. Nice and quick. Real hard turn. You turn it back off? Great job. Quicker. 
So I'm going to ask you again, are you a female? Turn it on for yes. Let me give it like a 10 second window. Yeah. Okay, are you a male, a guy, dude? Gentleman. Turn it on for yes. Leave it off for no. No. Are you human? Or were you a human at one point? That's always the crazy question. Yes. Ooh, that's good. That's good, good that to know. Good, good sign. <laughs> I'm I'm sure. Sure. No, I there for a second. I'm not going to lie. All right, can you turn it off, please, so we can ask more questions? <laughs> well, the temperature gauge was really teetering by 666, and I was a little nervous. But it didn't want to tell me male or female, it just didn't want me to know. Can you turn it back off for us? We can ask you more questions. You got it. Come on. Do you like this game that we're playing? I can turn it on if, if you do. But yet it keeps playing. Well, I'm not like it. It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> you might not like it. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> but it's a way to talk, right? Right. Can you turn it back off for us? I think. We're getting really good at this. I know. Do you like that we're here? What was that? What was that? It was like a I see, I heard it like. Do you like that we're here? What was that? was that? Do you like that we're here? What was that? What was that? It was like a hey, hey, person talking to us. Was that a spirit right here? No. Oh, thank you. Thanks um, that, for that confirming was a, that. Because that was kind of loud from being outside. Guys. It was a man's voice. Yeah. It was a man's voice. Yeah. Okay, great. Can you turn it back off for us? I didn't even hear it. Who didn't hear it? I didn't even hear it. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Wow. It Can sounded like it was like back there. All right. Because my recorder's right Great there. Great job. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, thing, messing with the flashlight? Is that somebody upstairs? Sir. <laughs> Sir, ma'am, I'm not sure. Just used to be a human. It's cool. Are you a kid? I was going to ask that question. That's why it said it wasn't a man or a woman. <coughs> it's not. Right. <laughs> okay, great, thanks. Can you turn it back off? I heard Got it. Again. it. Yeah, and. When we were down here and you guys were up there, not only could we not hear you, we could not hear yeah. any sound from outside. Really? Nothing. Come on, come on. Off, no. off, 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 off. Yes. Oh no. If if you are up in the booth, can you make it brighter? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it's funny as we were hearing sounds up there when we thought. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Thought you were up there. Uh, yeah, we thought she was up there, but no, she wasn't. Okay, the way this device works, we're going to ask you some questions, and it's going to feed off the echo, and almost creating white noise, basically just like you did last time, and you'll be able to talk through it, answer our questions. So we put the flashlights away so that you could kind of use all your energy to do this. And you can use our energy. Is there anybody here with us right now? Were you playing with the flashlights? Was that you? Was that you? 
What is your Sorry. name? Is there anything you want to say to us right now? What? Can you say one of our names? Say one of our names. Just a minute ago, that was silver. No. Just name beverages? You. There's no words for your memory. It's all sounds. It's all echoes. Well, no, like it has sound banks, the word, it'll come through, but it'll create words. There's no words for your memory. that. Do you have a message for us here? Tell us right now. Do you have a message for us? Hat? Do you mean the hat does look good in this hat? Right now? I can't 
Can you tell us something relevant so we know we're speaking to somebody? You said play. Can you name something in the room? Stories of spin, uh, said coming to get of people smelling cigarette yeah. smoke in here. Is that you? so much louder. When it just, when it just stops, I'm like, <laughs> We're trying to talk to the woman. Do you smoke in here? <laughs> Do you like to smoke while you're getting ready? Yeah. 
Can you tell us something relevant again? Let us know you're here. Piss me off. That is oh relevant. That is relevant. That's great. That was perfect. Thanks, John. Thanks. We don't like you. Hey, I that was on center. That was on center. It was. It was not relevant. My brain. Oh my gosh. It was dead. Can we speak to the female? Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah, yes, it did. It did. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs>